teachers, dear parents, and my dear friends. I Raghi Sadhguru Deji One. I'm happy to welcome you all for the first graduation day ceremony of our friend from kindergarten. Me, my stones, twenty twenty three, twenty twenty four. Before we begin our journey, I invite our respected principal mom to come forward. What are the symbolic tip or flag to signify the youth? My dear, let us share this focus.
Good morning dear parents, teachers and students. It is with great joy that we gather here today to celebrate the graduation of our little ones of KG2. Our children have developed social skills, learned how to read and write and how to share. To take turns and work together, they have discovered their love for learning. At the onset, let me take the opportunity to honor the mentorship of Dr. Gopal Krishna. Sir is known for his forethought, high standards and focus on academic excellence. With over five decades of experience in education, Dr. K.P. Gopal Krishna's guidance ensures NPES Sadashiv Nagar's high quality and academic rigor. Under his leadership, the National Public School, in this case Sadashiv Nagar, will give India the leaders and change makers of tomorrow. I also thank our promoter Dr. Bhima Shankar Bilgundi for his unstinted support for the journey so far. We welcome our new president Shashil Gangadhar Namoshi, an Indian politician who is the current member of the Karnataka Legislative Assembly from North East Teachers Constituency from 10th November 2020. This is only the beginning of their journey. I want to take a moment to appreciate the hard work of our pre-primary teachers and their caregivers, the housekeeping staff, the art, dance, music, sports faculties, their patience and dedication towards creating a safe and nurturing environment has made learning fun for our kids. Dear students, I want you to remember the lessons you've learned in preschool. Continue to be kind, caring and respectful towards others. Let us continue to work hard and never give up on our dreams. You, dear children, have just learned to dream. We wish you, our tiny thoughts, all the happiness that they can get. Dear millennial parents, you were born between 1981 and 1996. Your world of parenthood is experiencing a significant shift. Shaped by rapid technological advancements, diverse cultural influences and changing economic landscape. We are also seeing the rise of DISC couples, dual income households where both parents are having full time jobs. Good news. Research shows that in spite of that, parents today are spending more time with their children than parents did in the 1950s. You are digitally native, ethnically diverse and the first ever generation or netizens of digital spaces or virtual villages. You are careful, coordinated in child care, especially when you are not buying your children expensive items, cars, gadgets, luxury goods. But for your kids, there's the catch. Are you outsourcing products and services? Remember, you are raising Gen Alpha. So whatever we said so far, Y, Z, all are gone. 85% of your child's brain development happens within the first six years of age. Hippocampus, the most important part, it is responsible for memory consolidation, it produces new neurons, controls behavior. So we train our teachers on the importance of hippocampus and we want you all to do the same. If we want our children to remember what is taught, become smarter and behave well, we must protect the hippocampus from stress like shouting, screaming, comparing with other children, threatening and hitting. We at NPS have a zero tolerance policy for these. However, freedom without discipline is chaos. So learn to say no when you cannot say yes. Correcting wrong behavior is an absolute necessity. It cannot be and should not be condoned or compromised at any cost. What we do, they mirror. Speak positively about school and teachers in front of your child. Homeworks are meant for the children, 
and it's an opportunity for parents to be able to sit with the child and enjoy and explore the child's creativity. Encourage them to finish the homeworks and all activities independently. Do not bother about the grades. They will excel anyway. Remember technology is no longer a tool for learning but an integral part of their life. So it is important at this stage to give them enough so that they value creativity, purpose and entrepreneurship. Your children will not only grow up with but also design humanoid bots like now, an educational robot which can read stories to students, ask them comprehension questions, engage in conversation, pronunciation exercises, recognize the correct grammar, vocab errors and also give feedback. Thymio is a small programmable robot designed to teach coding to the children in a fun and interactive way, created by Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. Pepper, a humanoid robot. It's a social robot, by the way. It is designed to interact with humans and perform various functions like teaching, maths, and science. Pepper can understand and adapt to students' emotions, making learning fun and exciting. Tega is a social robot platform by MIT. It's developed, uh, it is developed to help and encourage children to participate in educational activities by making learning more fun. Our children's challenges, therefore, are very different than from what we experience so far. Are we ready? We often hear all jobs will disappear in the future. AI is getting better, robots are getting smarter. So present jobs will disappear. It isn't just manual labor that's vanishing, but it's the ability to think that is being taken over. By 2035, half of all the jobs that exist today will be gone, done away. They will be taken up by AIs and robots. By 2050, 9 out of 10 of present day's jobs will be gone. But if by job we mean something that a human being does out of enjoyment, those will never go. My take is that all jobs will not only decrease, but different ones will take its place. To perform those new jobs, you will require training and start all over as newbies. To visualize this, recall the disappearance of horse miscarriages or closer at home COVID. So what do we do? Bond with the best, your kids. Set limits on screen time, usage, both for yourself as a parent and your child. You should become role models in using technology in the right way. Ever since children are born, we show them a screen. We start clicking photographs, loading them. They have seen us clicking. We don't want our children to think or feel that the mobile is their third parent. We have to teach them to use technology safely, hence verify the credibility of sources before implementing any advice found online. Use the four Ps, planning, purpose, preparation, and your professionalism just the way you plan your career. School timings will change, so adjust sleep patterns accordingly. Eight hours mandated. The way you are planning your careers, remember that. And for you and your kids, eight hours mandated for both sets. Washroom training is essential. Child needs to be comfortable, so it's time to toss the diapers. Make them independent, but not the co-parents. This is very important, dear parents. They don't decide. They can influence certain decisions, though. Please keep this in mind. Teach them to respect privacy, social habits, and etiquette. Robots will not be able to teach them this. Teach them to love our co-creatures. Dogs, cats, birds, beasts, plants. Above all, teach them to live, love, laugh. Let's enjoy our time with our kids, celebrate their childhood, invite in them qualities through stories, help them to respect institutions, teachers and elders. As they grow up, dear parents, 
we will give this back to you tenfold. I end with the lines from Elizabeth Lawrence, there is a garden in every childhood, encounter place where colors are brighter, the air softer, and morning more fragrant than ever before. Dear parents, meet you all on the other side of this academic year. See you on the 5th of June 2024 for Grade 1, 6th June for KG 1 and 2. Over to Bhumi for further questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for those enlightening words. Now, my friends from KG 1 will recite a poem, The Clouds by Christina Rosetti. Yeah. 
request Mr. Kalpuri, our esteemed parent of Miss Priyanki from KG2 to kindly come forward and share this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman, esteemed faculty, and fellow parents, today I stand before you as a proud parent of Priyanshi Padyan, KG2, filled with gratitude and appreciation for the incredible journey of growth and development that she had into MBS. Also, to our surprise, she wakes up happily looking forward to going to the school, and she comes home with even more alacrity and energy. This brings us joy and reassuring us that she is at the right place and in the right hands. As parents, we express our gratitude wholeheartedly. Here at NPS, the focus is not only to pursue academics, but on holistic development of every child imbibing core values and discipline. The school provides diverse learning opportunities through best teaching practices in safe and nurturing environment, enabling every student to develop the skills and values needed to excel in the school and beyond. Moreover, I cannot overlook the importance of the school's infrastructure, which provides a conducive environment for learning and growth. From well-equipped classrooms to modern facilities, NPS has power, spared no effort in providing our children with the resources they need to succeed. Now, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to Principal Ma'am, Ms. Piali Shown, for her exemplary leadership and unwavering commitment to providing a positive environment where every child can learn and thrive. Ma'am, your vision for tomorrow for the school is quite evident in the children of today. Your dedication, your dedication to excellence has set the foundation for Priyanshi and her fellow classmates. Sorry set the foundation for Priyanshi and her fellow classmates' success, and I'm sure NPS Dashnagar will reach great heights under your leadership. For this, we are forever grateful for your guidance and support. I also want to extend a heartfelt thank you to Priyanshi's beloved teacher, Shobita Mem, whose passion for teaching and genuine care for her students have had a profound impact on her daughter Priyanshi's journey. Your relentless dedication to fostering Priyanshi's growth and confidence has not gone unnoticed. Today, from a shy child to an enthusiastic performer, she has come a long way, and we are truly grateful for the transformative influence you have on her life. Additionally, I would like to thank Menka Ma'am and the entire administrative and support staff for the tireless efforts in ensuring a smooth administration and operation processes. Your behind the scenes work does not go unnoticed. And we appreciate everything you do to make NPS a place where every child feels safe, valued, and supported. To all the teachers and staff at NPS School, thank you for your dedication, passion, commitment to the overall development of our children. From the classrooms to the playground, you have created a nurturing environment where every children can learn, grow, and thrive. As I celebrate Priyanshi's graduation day, I'm, feel, I'm filled with pride and gratitude for the incredible journey she has undertaken at National Public Schools of Ashnagar. The growth and development she's experienced here have laid a strong foundation for her future success, and for that, we are forever thankful. Congratulations to Priyanshi and all little ones graduating today to the primary. They are all special in their own way and shine brighter with every passing step in the journey of NPS Dashnagar. Once again, I thank you to the principal ma'am, teachers, staff, and parents. Thank you, have a great day ahead, and namaste. Now my friends from KG2 will present a poem, I am a tree by Nancy Copeland.
present here. As we gather here, it has been a momentous year for all associated with National Public School Sadashiv Nagar. Life is made of beautiful moments as this one, as our little ones are graduating to the primary level. Shifting to NPS has been an immensely rewarding decision. Today, I stand here as a proud parent of a happy and a confident child each day at NPS, learning something new is exciting. To turn up every morning, teachers have always kept their students' priority first. They work tirelessly each day to ensure the students' success. I feel that the future of our children is in right hands. My son Sadhan turns up to school, excited to learn something new, to show his skill and interact confidently each day. This has added to the steep and impressive learning curve. Curious children are the mark of a good learning atmosphere. Curiosity and ability to explore leads to healthy learning. And here at NPS, each child is provided with the best atmosphere and faculty to learn and grow. Thank you, school. Thank you, Principal Ma'am Piali Shum for giving me this opportunity to share my reviews about the school on the special day and making the your most memorable one. Thank you once again. Thank you, parents. Thank you, ma'am. As the part of Finlin said, if music be the food of love, play on. Give me excess of it. We the young learners from KG1 and Montessori will, will present before you this little guide in light of mine. Yeah. 
The much awaited moment of the day has finally arrived. I would like to request our respected principal ma'am to honor our students with their certificates. We begin with Alok, our energetic sports enthusiast who showcases a natural flair for art and dance. Next up, we have Arav. A gifted artist, he captivates everyone with his boundless creativity and artistic expressions. Here comes Kriti. Always brilliant with enthusiasm, she has captivating public speaking skills and she is a good orator. Next comes Siddhant. He consistently exhibits respect, genuine enthusiasm for learning, and admirable conduct towards teachers and peers alike. A special mention to Siddhant for securing a trophy for play, first place in dance and second place in gymnastics, wherein he was awarded a certificate. Congratulations, Siddhant. Next. Now comes last year, brimming with creativity and a zeal for art and dance. She enjoys showcasing her distinctive talents. Now comes Advait, an eloquent young speaker. He is a confident and well-informed child. Here comes Priyanshi, a bundle of joy and pure affection. She warms every heart with her infectious smile and delightful interactions. She has a great enthusiasm for learning. Next up, we have Isha. A remarkable student known for exceptional patience and composure. She weaves a tale of rhythm and grace through her expressive dance moves. Next comes Tanmay. A passionate learner who proudly displays a consistent drive for knowledge acquisition. Here comes Sai Kushala. She impresses one and all with her dedicated efforts and remarkable handwriting skills. We now have Mohammed Imar. 
brilliant young mind. He effortlessly illuminates every corner of knowledge with his intellect. He enjoys outdoor activities. Next comes Moinuddin, an embodiment of good conduct. He exudes enthusiasm and a natural flair for physical activities. Now comes Dhruv, a hard-working child who proudly demonstrates a remarkable capacity for learning. Last but not the least, we have Amaya. She radiates a clear love for learning. Her determination and positive attitude are truly inspiring. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations to the first batch of graduates of NPS Sadashiv Nagar. We are all so proud of you. Can we have a huge round of applause for all of them, please? Children, kindly come forward for the group photograph. Smile, all of you. Hello, Arav, please smile. Pretty smile. Thank you, ma'am. As principal ma'am says, don't do different things, but do all things differently. Now my friends from KG2 will be presenting the vote of thanks in a different way. Thank you. Our loving teachers, our dear parents, 
and our dear friends for making this program a new milestone in the history of India's Sadashivna Girl. Now I request everyone to please stand up for the national anthem. Thank you. Thank you. 